look at now what do you think is the difference between this and this they both smell very much the same very much the same but this one with a famous name it is in fact Chanel number no. five costs more than twice as much as this one this is about 40 odd quid the price of perfumes these days is just horrendous we'll be trying to uh, sniff out the difference between classic perfumes and uh, these new imitations from the states in a few minutes but first one reason why the famous brands cost a packet the bottles have actually become works of art themselves beautiful but after all in the end it is the smell that counts with us now is Jonathan Fitchu morning Jonathan morning. and you've organized this new range of stuff from the States mm -hmm. called say it again ob observe les sens observe les sens it's a whole range of, of scents but you're calling them with that one name yeah and they I don't know if you like the word imitate I mean it's your version of some of the most famous scents on the market yeah we prefer the word rendition because it's our interpretation of a designer smell we're not trying to say it's exactly the same. It's a cover version. Yeah, but we use exactly the same types of ingredients to manufacture and we follow the same processes. So we're making a quality product. But how do, you, how do you, for example, supposing you're doing a rip-off of, uh, of opium, yeah? mm -hmm. how do you know what's in opium? Because they keep it a big secret in, the, in these... Uh, there's there's three houses. reasons, really. A, like most industries, the master perfumers move around mm. and we recruit master perfumers. So one of our master perfumers might have actually been responsible for the original oh, right. opium. Alternatively, you can put things through what's called a gastro spectrometer and it'll tell you what all the ingredients are. Mm. And the third thing is they patent them. And by patenting something, you've got to publish it. So, right, what? this is half, and half price? At least. At least. Yeah. I mean, we say double the juice, quarter of the price is our say. But what you can't say is, is flog it as being um, a kind of a rendition of Chanel Number no. 5 or whatever, because that would be illegal, wouldn't it? Yeah, so what we say to people is, you know, what do you like to wear? And if they said Chanel Number no. 5, we'd say, try this. This is our rendition of Chanel. Okay, Fine. well, we've, we've got five models wearing the real thing and your rendition of it. Claire, come on in, please. Now, on one wrist, Claire, you're wearing poison, and on the other wrist, she's wearing your version Observe of it. Observe Observe right. Let's see if you we can tell first. the difference. I have to say, I don't really like poison, anyway. Go on, yeah. Okay. All right. 
I know what I think is the real one. I think that's poison. So do I. I think the right hand one. Can you is open? It's not. It's not. Oh, there what a go. surprise. There you go. Oh. Right. right. So well the done. fake one smelt, in a sense, better. Rendition. It felt Rend so. Oh, <laughs> The rendition smelt stronger. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because no, we, yeah. we try to make eau de parfum strength because we yeah. feel that the designers try and push eau de toilette so that people right. use more of it. Okay. Oh, I see. So you're full strength. Okay. Wendy, will you come in now, please? Because now you're wearing Chanel number no. five and uh, observe les on the other wrist. Let's... She got it right, Les. <laughs> didn't say fake, didn't say counterfeit. Right? Can't What's this much this on is Chanel number five, is it? But I can. All right. That's been on about an hour. Um... It's been on about an hour, has it? Can I have one more little sniff? Right. Well, this is stronger, but I'm actually not sure whether. I think, <laughs> I th I think the one on the left is the real one. Are we... Got that no, one you, right. you, you no, meant that that's one. The that's the right. Oh, the one on the right. Yes, actually, I did mean that one, so I got that one right. So yeah. you got that one I meant right. my left. <laughs> my sort left. This out. Right, now I have to say that I put the Chanel number no. 5 and your version of it on just before we did this item, and I can tell the difference on me, but I, I couldn't on mm. Wendy, oddly enough. Yeah, fragrances oh. smell different on different, different people. people. I have to say, this is kind of guesswork. They do smell almost identical. So one mm. one says it's that one, it's not that one. It's a guess, really. Well, listen, this is something I wear myself, opium. Oh, Nina's yeah. wearing opium, so <laughs> don't get this. <laughs> I won't get anything. My smell's on you. Yeah. That one. Oh, hang on, just a minute. Sorry. Right. No, I think it's that one. Go on then, open your arms. I was right. Oh, you were right. You were right. See, right. I was right. I wear yeah. that one. Brilliant. Okay, but, but it's very close. Uh, we've got uh, Lisa wearing Isatis. Now, again, I, I, I don't know this scent very well, so it's kind of a complete... What's this, Isatis? Isatis. It's nice, anyway. This is impossible. It's, it's just a quality <laughs> test, really, here. <laughs> I think, uh, no, they smell identical. I can't tell them apart at all. Is it that one? No? No. <laughs> OK, right. You're doing very well <laughs> You're doing here. Well. This is good, isn't and it? And we've got, we've got Fleur, the last one. She's wearing, it's Liz Taylor's perfume, isn't it? Yeah. White diamond. OK. Oops. Right, I don't know this one this either. This is I'm very afraid, expensive. So. Is, is it how much? This is not expensive, isn't it? What is it, a 60 quid? The 50 no, mils. Oh. Yeah, 50 mils. Well, again. OK. I... Um, now, that one smells nicer, but that's just a personal I thing. I think it's that one. Let's have a look. No. <laughs> Oh, it's, you haven't been spraying them freshly. I wasn't allowed to take part. I tried this, to. This is real, I hope. <laughs> because I have to tell you, one thing that struck me was, as I say, that all the real ones smelt fainter. Now, how long yeah. have they been on now? About uh, an hour, hour and a half. An hour, an hour and a half. Since the beginning of the show. Oh. Well, congratulations. I mean, you know, that, that works. Where do you get them from? They're manufactured in the States by a company called Centura Creations, yeah. and they're, they're incredibly successful over there, but it's yeah. very new no, I mean, here. Where can, pe where can people watch it? Oh, from? from me, from the House of Essence in but Stockport. But you, you, don't you don't actually sell them in shops? No. It's, it's just that you, you are the outlet. Yeah, because one of the problems with fragrance is the retailers, the big stores, want to make a huge markup as well. Mm. You know, Superdrug have been trying to sell designer fragrances for yeah. a long time, and they're not allowed. I, think okay. you might have one, I just think you might have one problem, which is that when a man buys his wife's oh, scent, he wants to buy the luxury version. Sure. Um, and if she knows she's got the cheaper version she might not but a woman might buy them for herself mm. yes i think that's probably yeah. the way they do it anyway house of essence in stockport well done thank you